In the book of Proverbs, we find a wealth of wisdom that guides us to live a life pleasing to God. And in Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1 through 2, the tone is set as we encounter Solomon's heartfelt plea to his son, urging him to pay attention and to listen carefully to his words of insight. Let's take a look. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen carefully to my wise counsel, then you will show discernment and your lips will express what you've learned. Check it out. The wisdom shared in these verses is particularly focused on the dangers of sexual immorality. Solomon warns his son about the temptation of the adulterous woman whose seductive words and enticing charms may at first seem irresistible. Verse three tells us, for the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey and her mouth is smoother than oil. But Solomon cautions his son, reminding him that such pleasures are only short-lived, leading only to bitterness and destruction. The imagery used in this passage is very powerful. The adulterous woman's path leads to death and the grave. She staggers down a crooked path and doesn't realize it. Listen, this serves as a reminder that indulging in sexual immorality can have severe consequences. And not only in the physical realm, but also in our spiritual well-being. And here's the deal. As we reflect on these verses, we must recognize that the wisdom shared here extends beyond sexual temptation. It applies to any situation where we are enticed by temporary pleasures that lead us away from God's intended path. This chapter reminds us that the path of sin, it may appear attractive and promising, but it ultimately leads to death and destruction. So church, in a world filled with distractions and temptations, we are called to exercise discernment and live out our knowledge of God's truth. We need to guard our hearts and our minds against anything that seeks to draw us away from the path of righteousness. And the key lies in seeking wisdom, turning our ears to the words of wisdom that God provides through his word and the counsel of those who follow him. So today, let's remember that true wisdom isn't found in the empty promises of temporary pleasure, but in the fear of the Lord and obedience to his commands. And as we navigate the challenges and temptations of life, may we seek wisdom that guides our steps preserves our integrity, and leads us closer to God's heart.